The Liverpool and Manchester City game kicked off a new era with Arne Slot taking over as Liverpool manager. The fiery battle between the two sides saw a new style of play. But unlike past battles between Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool and Pep Guardiola's Manchester City, the latest fixture was a one-sided affair. A lacklustre Manchester City, in fact, lost to a confident Liverpool 2-0, adding more misery to an already under-fire Guardiola. This was the sixth defeat in seven matches across the tournaments for the Spanish manager. And during the game, the once invincible Guardiola was mocked and booed by Liverpool fans. Instead of you will never walk alone, the crowd chanted, you're getting sacked in the morning. Quite a unique chant from the Anfield faithfuls. And while it displayed Liverpool's dominance over City of late, it also showed Manchester City's vulnerability. An agitated Guardiola responded to all these taunts like this. Now, Guardiola might uh, have indulged, might not have indulged fans in this manner during his glory days. Sure, his touchline antics have always been famous. So to his verbal battles with opposition players, referees, managers. But never did he get into an exchange with fans. The fact that Guardiola had to defend his poor run by showing the number of Premier League titles he's won with Manchester City kind of showed the pressure the manager is finding himself in. Listen, I'm so proud for my six Premier Leagues against that team in the previous teams. I'm so sorry. I didn't expect Anfield with 0 2 start to chant beside. But maybe in Brighton, they, they did it, so I understand. But Anfield, I didn't expect that. And while Guardiola tried shutting out the noise at Anfield, the internet, of course, didn't go easy on him. Many even saying that the six figures denotes the number of losses Guardiola has incurred this season. that feels like Guardiola is no longer being hailed for his fearless football. The only talk going around, in fact, is how long will Guardiola's losing run continue? And this time, it's hit him hard. In the past, we've seen Guardiola stay confident in his approach, turn the tide in his team's favour despite a bump. But now, the same Guardiola is being asked to take his words back. I have to, I have to put myself now, so it's not an excuse. I wrote it's not there. What do you have to do? Cry all the time? Your rod is not there? All the four central defenders have not been there for a long time in the last month? I have to find a solution. I have to find a way to do it. And this is... Uh, I'm trying every, every day. Guardiola says he's trying his best every day. The words, of course, of course showing how desperate Guardiola is becoming. He really wants to bring back the dominant city side he always had. He admits that the over-reliance on one player was probably one of the reasons behind their slump. So it feels like Guardiola is at least realising there is a desperate need of a revival and very soon. Something his arch rival Arnie Slot also feels could happen. You feel a sympathy or empathy with the managers that are in a really bad place. Pep has won so many things uh, uh, and he's shown so many times already. That's why it's, it, the, the, the league is not decided in, in November or, these, uh, or December. No one has to feel empathy or sorry uh, uh, for Pep, maybe for other managers, but not for Pep. He's won so many things and he will be able to bring City back. Slot seems to have more confidence in the Manchester City boss uh, than his own Liverpool fans, but that still doesn't change the fact that Guardiola requires a massive change in fortunes. Because with every loss, Manchester City aren't just seeing the title drift away from them, but the chances of qualifying for the Champions League 
too. Because in a rare turn of events, if Guardiola City are out of the top four in the points table, if the losing run doesn't cease, they might miss a berth to next year's mega event. So if a comeback is loading, Man City boss has to make it happen now. Guardiola needs a Christmas miracle to blow away the snowy fortunes that City is experiencing so far.